Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Local prison rights advocacy groups hosted a panel tonight decrying a prison lockdown that is now approaching one year. This also comes as a fourth inmate in less than a year died while being held at Wapon Correctional. New at 10, Emily Riley tells us the key points advocacy groups want to change. Dozens of people attending a panel at St. Norbert College Thursday night to hear from advocates from groups like Joshua and community leaders like Representative David Steffen speak on the inmate conditions at correctional facilities. It's educating um, the public, people that do not have loved ones um, in prison don't really know how difficult it is when you're the family member of a loved one. Some key points of conversation included the lack of medical health care, including mental health care, rodent infestations, and the limited options offered for rehabilitation, like the option to work or try masonry. Organizers say it's the same as it was in the 1950s at GBCI and has slowed during the lockdown. That's inhumane. And while people who are incarcerated there have made mistakes in life, you hope that they can have the programming and the services they need because they will re-enter society and we want to give them the tools to be able to do so safely and productively. Organizers say the goal of the panel is to get the word out about the conditions for those behind bars. No matter what someone did, no one deserves to be treated in a, in a way that diminishes them. We reached out to the Department of Corrections asking what's being done to address the reported lockdown conditions. In response, a DOC spokesperson said they would try to get back to us with answers and were not aware of Thursday night's panel. The advocacy group is planning an event set for early April in Madison to make their voices heard on the stairs of the Capitol. Reporting in De Pere, Emily Riley, Action 2 News.